viewers. Hello lovely viewers. I welcome you to Omades. And please, if today be the first time you are visiting the channel, kindly subscribe, you like, you share, and if you have any comment too, don't forget to drop it under the comment section. And please, today I want us to learn how you can design a very nice and simple letterhead. Nice but simple letterhead. So, first of all, we have to choose our size. These are the images or the symbols that I'll be using. Okay. And this will be a sample of letter that I'll put on the letterhead after I've finished. So, um, first of all, I have to choose our size and the letterhead, the size is normally A4. Okay. So when you come here, then you glance through, you will see A4. Okay. Good. So this is our size. And letterheads, it depends on you. It has many, 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 many designs. So let's try and design a very nice but simple one. Okay. So first of all, I will take, let me zoom the page. I will take my free hand tool. Then I double click. I double click. If you double click, it means you are continuing the, uh, what do you call it? The drawing. Okay. Good. Or the line. Single click will stop it. Okay. I double click. I double click. Then single click. Okay. Good. Then I take the shape tool. Then I click here. You come here. Convert to curves. Okay. Then here too. Convert to curves. Then I, I will curve this place a bit. Okay. Yeah. I'm not asking you to do the same thing, but this is a design that I'm creating. Okay. I double click here. I double click here. I want here to go off. So I'll use the, this shape tool to select here. Then delete notes. Okay. Good. Like this. Good. Yeah. Then I have to find a very nice color. Then I'll fill it. Let's see. It depends on the type of, uh, let's see the type of company or the company colors okay yeah the company colors we normally design with com the company colors okay good so this one we don't have anything so let me choose this one uh, green let me open here a bit good then i remove the outline let me double click and push this one too line on this guideline okay good and this one is deep let me lighten it it's good then i copy the same thing here like this okay good then i'll choose another color for this one okay good then i want to use this one okay this deeper one to cut this one so i'll select this one the deeper one first then i press shift on the keyboard then i click on this one meaning i've selected all together then i i click on trim okay good so this one has cut this one look good yeah good good so let me stretch all and make it big and I want here also to be a straight line. Okay. So this one to I'll take this one. I'll draw something like this. Okay. I want to cut here. I'll fill it with any color. I'll remove the outline. Then this one is selected. I put my hand on shift. 
and select this one meaning i'm using this one to cut this one okay now you come here trim good i've deleted this one you see i've trimmed this place good yeah now let me create an abstract design here so because i push it come to create an abstract design here okay an abstract so uh, let me push this one here a bit i will take this i will draw something like this okay then i take the shape to i hold here then i push here up okay to get around edges then i'll fill it with color i remove the outline okay then i copy it with the help of the mouse and if you glance through my videos i have a tutorial on how you use the mouse to copy okay so if you check there you'll find it good yeah here still remains on my days and you are watching how to design a very simple letterhead okay very simple simple but nice letterhead okay good reduce this one some more but stretch it i'm just creating an abstract design here to beautify it Good. now i take this freehand to I draw a tiny line that one to I give it a color okay so I want to open this one a bit let me increase this one yeah, let me send this one behind this shape so I right click order back of page like that yeah order back of page so it will be behind this one then this one will be on top okay something like that so i've stretched it i've grouped it then i will rotate it like this by clicking on first second click then it will bring this rotational sign then i rotate it like this okay good something like this then i will double click on this one if you double click on it it will draw a rectangle to fill the whole page okay if you want to see it has filled the page see let me give it a color you see have you seen good so undo now you click on this one you right click then power clip i'm shooting this one into the rectangle i just drew okay good let me do it again you, you select this one you right click then you come here power clip it will give you an arrow then you shoot it to wherever you want to shoot it so i've clicked here you see i wanted to catch this place you see i've cut in this place that's why i drew the rectangle good that is how i want it then i remove the outline Good. Then I want to 
do small designs down here that one too i'll take a rectangle i'll draw something like this okay then i come here i convert to curves come to object convert to curves then you take this one you double click here then you select here with a shape tool then you delete it okay good now i draw another rectangle again like this okay this time around i stretch it to the end here then i give it this one a color i give this one a different color and i send this one other behind the dark color okay i select all i remove the outline good and bring this one down a bit good i copy another one again sorry the one i sent i sent behind this one went behind the rectangle i drew here okay good so i have to bring it up so i right click order sorry or oh, shift page up on your keyboard okay you press shift then you press page up on your keyboard now it has come up so let me copy another one again okay good like this then this one should be up shift page up okay good to bring the content up and put it here now i change the color good then every every letter head has a what do you call it a logo so let's design a very simple logo for it yeah, very very simple logo for it okay let's see anyhow very nice logo very simple for it yeah assuming this is my logo good that's my logo yeah should be white yeah so this is my logo i've grouped it then i'll place it somewhere so let's find the company's name let's say the company name here assuming this is the company name okay yeah, good so i want to break break this text into two okay so i'll come to object break a text test good i bought this one and take this shape to and make it compatible yeah i want it that way it's not by force okay and I'll put it here, then I'll put this one also here. I stretch it with the help of the shape tool. Good. Then I'll put the logo here. Open the logo somewhere here. Like this. Well, let me finish here before I go. I copy this one, okay? I, I move it, then I right click and give it a, a light color or I will reduce its transparency. So I'll come here, then I come here, then I reduce it, okay? Good. Good. Now, and every company has a contact, 
okay so I prefer putting them down here or I can put them here okay but I prefer putting them down there so I'll bring my symbols I don't want to write telephone then I put that no 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 let me select to shift page up good I don't want to write telephone then I'll be using symbols okay I have to put this one in a circle so that it will be out and put it in a circle and I'll fill this one white I select this one shift page apply this okay I remove the outline and group it so normally which one is first can take the telephone then come with the location I think this is very common symbol okay yeah group it or oh, in order for it to have a uniformity let me choose one color for all okay oh, this one to let me choose one color for this one sample this color so that to bring in the own tea okay I group it and I place them here also and I have my email email Then let me type my telephone numbers. Let's see. Yeah, that's my telephone number. Telephone number for the company. Then location. Street. I six forty five to my Then that. Website. This is my email. This is uh, at email dot com. I hope you are still enjoying the tutorials please if you have any comment kindly drop it out in the comment section and please subscribe for more graphic design tutorials right now i'm using corel draw how to use corel draw you can follow and design a very nice letterhead okay then i want to use this one i said watermark so I'll group this one, I'll copy this one, 
then I come here bitmaps then I come here then convert to bitmap okay then press ok then you choose the transparent then I regret it here okay good 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 yeah then I'll put this one in the middle of the letter head so that it will be a watermark of the company very simple like that okay good I see so this is the letter head it's very simple very neat and you can add more what do you call it artifact or you can add your skills to beautify it by letterhead should normally be simple okay yeah it must be simple so that everything will be clear yeah good now let's say i have my letter okay so i've put in my letter like this okay should be um increase it then let me give some paragraphs let me create by first paragraph okay I'll create by first paragraph it should be up so shift page up yeah it was behind there good 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 i hope you're enjoying this tutorials please kindly subscribe to the channel for more graphic design tutorials and right now i'm using corel draw i'll be tackling other softwares very soon yeah good this one is just a normal ways that i've copied to show how you can paste the what do you call it the letter so here will be the title okay let me delete some of the ways i just want to show you how it the letter will look like on the letter head okay good let's say application for loan okay you want the light neat then you bring it down i will try and sign a very nice signature here okay i will take the free hand to i'll draw something like this then i'll write here signature okay sig ne okay okay something like this then let me take the same free hand to to sign a very nice and simple signature okay good let me increase the outline a bit okay now I give it a, a color yeah to show that I've signed then the distance will be down here and let me write let's say the salutation dear sir or madam let me just it make it 13 good i don't have a more space for illustration okay so let me give it a color change this one to let's say times new roman here is comma okay so viewers here ends the tutorials how we design a letter head so this is how it looks like if you have any comment kindly drop it under the comment section and kindly subscribe for more tutorials thank you
and enjoy this tutorial. Bye-bye.